Well, you always say you want to make things like moments and memories and that. Well, our honeymoon went fantastic. And 80 miles from home, my car is dead. Like going to the scrapyard dead. So we're waiting on a tow truck now. What is up YouTube? So as you guys seen from the clips, uh, basically my Prius got towed away to the junkyard and now I drive a Mercedes. Um, this is not me gloating at all. This is me telling you the story behind the Mercedes because this is not the car I wanted, but definitely the car I needed. So basically on our way back from our honeymoon, uh, let's start at the beginning. About three months ago in my Prius, my check engine light came on and I, you know, I get concerned. I don't like my cars in bad shape. I'm a mechanic for a living, so I took it to work and I scanned the code and I did not recognize the code. So I went and I did a bunch of research and it's very common for a coolant valve to go bad, a specific one. Not a water pump, a secondary valve that controls coolant flow to other places. Part was 60 bucks. It took me two hours. I put it in and it ran fine. Check engine line went out, never came back, and I drove it like that for two to three months. Coming back from the honeymoon, there is a hole that is plugged from the manufacturer, Dorman, who makes this part. And it's just a plastic plug that screws in, and they do that. Nothing to do with me. Well, on our way back, that plug had blew off. Now, where this makes me very angry was, basically, the parts store had a different part listed. And I had went on Amazon to see if the part was cheaper. You know, I sometimes buy parts online. And they had a cheaper part, but it was a Dorman, and it said... You know, this whole, this uh, plug blows off all the time. Don't buy this. So I bought it from the parts store, assuming I'd get a different one. And it came in an unmarked white box. It's very common. And I put the part in. And until I took the part out, I didn't realize it was a doorman. And that plug had blown off. And I had drove. I didn't know that it blew off. And I drove about 10 miles, pouring coolant out. And I, I just had no idea. And I fried my head gasket. There was probably other things wrong with it. I was not going to put in, you know, 10 hours of my time and 100 bucks to find out that my hybrid batteries couldn't be recharged or there was other problems with the engine. So it was time to scrap it. I spent then day after day for a solid week having to go into work early. Thankfully, my mother does work in the area and she goes to work about an hour before me. So I was at work on time and home every day. It was just a little bit of a strain, but I kept looking at vehicles and just everyone was so roached out you know it would lie and lie and lie in the listings my boss was selling mercedes and selling a mercedes for about a year and a half now a year and he wanted i'm not going to say how much he wanted but he wanted about 2500 less than it's worth so now i drive a mercedes c300 2008 and there's some drawbacks and there's some good things I have heated seats, cool. I don't get the gas mileage I once did and I take a more expensive fuel, bad. So I'm gonna start, start skating my flat bar more or doing more videos at home instead of driving all the way out to skate parks not because it's gonna be kind of costly. The other big drawback, we all know rear seats go down so transporting a flat bar shouldn't be too difficult. Well, let's get out of the car and let me show you what I'm dealing with right now. So I told you guys my flat bar for the past, uh, I don't know how long it's been. Four or five months has been at a friend's house. He's been storing his garage for me. We're supposed to skate it. It never happened. Well, I got this going on. Basically, and I didn't know this until I went to go flip the back seats down. There are levers in the trunk that are supposed to allow you to flip the back seats down. They're missing. They are straight up gone. And I highly doubt my boss, who is 62 years old, was loading up the trunk every day. And I know, I know he wasn't. He's a company truck, so he was using the truck if he was doing something like that. So he had no idea that the handles were gone. But I'm dealing with that right now. So my rail, I'll probably have to start carrying it to the skate park. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I just wanted to say one last time, the anger of having a part fail and it's not your fault and then your car just being gone. So, you know, this isn't the car I wanted. And I'm not really gonna go through a car tour and that because I'm not a famous YouTuber. You know, I didn't buy a fancy Tesla. I just bought the car that fell into my lap. But as always, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Have a great day.